The Rural Health Professions Action Plan, RPAP, endeavors to make continuing professional development accessible and affordable for rural health professionals. Better off putting it back in so the blood actually gets into the uterus. This is the Rural Surgical Skills Workshop in Banff. It's a three-day annual event organized by the Society of Rural Physicians of Canada, or SRPC. Here, rural surgical teams learn current best practices. The ability to learn with your OR team is incredibly valuable because you go back home and you start at a much higher level. So what kind of twins do we have here? Rural physicians often have access to funding support for these types of educational events. Nurses do not. So RPAP provided over $6,000 to SRPC so that the registration costs for operating room nurses could be reduced to just $50. Close to 40 OR nurses attended. Before RPAP started sponsoring some of these bursaries, we had very few nurses that could attend. With rural physicians and nurses from all across Canada here, opportunities to network and learn from other rural OR teams were abundant. You can learn about successes, you can learn about opportunities and quality improvement initiatives that you can take back to your own site. Learning covered both everyday occurrences to rare events, such as catastrophic hemorrhaging during a cesarean hysterectomy. Somebody has a massive hemorrhage and you're five hours from your larger center, you have no choice, it has to be dealt with there. But at least you remember, I know I can do this, I have people to call, this is the checklist that I need to do, and I've prepared my team in the event that this might happen. Obstetrics was a popular topic including obstetrical ultrasound. If rural doc can look at the, the mother and say, yes, that baby's head is down, we're all good, that's, it's just really valuable. I think it's reasonable for you guys to be able to repair that, because most of the time it does tear into there. Other workshops included topics such as sphincter injuries and rural and remote trauma surgery. It was an exceptional learning experience for all who attended. I always find these type of conferences and the networking opportunities to be so invigorating. I always come back to my site, re-energize, and that really ultimately makes a difference for our patients. And that's, at the end of the day, why I do what I do. It's for my patients. We know the relationships and the collegiality of rural is part of the reason people stay. I am so thankful for organizations like RPAP who, who do this for us.